Hey guys, it's Chris, and on this episode of Amiga Stuff, I acquired this 1084 SD1 from uh, someone who's relatively local, about 80 miles round trip. I paid $150 for this, it's in pristine condition. The typical 1084 issue. It does have the thingy, but the peg part broke. Uh, the clip is still here, so the solid hole, it's just the other one, but the clicker still works. Power button's still good been shown working and it's very very clean uh, the only issue I have is my own doing so as you can see there's no real blemishes or issues get out of there on it she's all clean has a manufacturer date of January 1992 this is the old 60 Hertz model runs at uh, normal power my cable here I have a 23 to RGB mail. It's got this daggone plastic piece. Now I pop the top one off, but if I pop the bottom one off, the whole thing's going to pop apart. So I picked myself up a gender changer. That's the same gender, so she'll go in here. Uh. Alright, so we're set up with the 500. Helps when I throw the monitor on. Hopefully it works. Hit it. Ooh. Sound is hooked up to this. Well, that's not good. Ooh. Um, well, that sucks. It resets. I see it reset. That just, just, that's just freaking awesome. Yeah. Whoops. Nothing in here. Audio. Brand new power, RGB, DB23 to the 9. Monitor off, monitor works, I think, maybe, I don't know. Turn the Amiga on, and nothing. We reset. What is up with this? Simple video about the newly acquired monitor to me. I don't even know if it works. I get a picture and then it poops out. Let's get the, the 1200. I know. And then we'll turn this one on. I get 1200, AGA, RGB, flash floppy, hard drive loading. Don't know what I'm going to get. Am I going to get anything? Look at the refresh rate. This thing's in vertical nightmare. What in the heck is this monitor doing to my computers? I put the 600 on here first, and it wouldn't, like, I had this, and it wouldn't turn on. It's like, everything just died. Low, high, double mouse button, there's the Amiga, with the yellow screen. Oh my god, that, it's the stupid card. It's this Amiga shit piece of doo-doo, doo-doo, worst card I've ever owned in my life. Still doesn't explain why plugging this into three Amigas gets me the weirdest display issue. So when this comes up on here, I'm going to plug the RGB in. I'll set this back to a screen mode that's legible just in case it's in some weird. Okay, so I'm still in a... I have no mouse. Oh, God almighty. Oh, remember, it's an Amiga kit mouse, so you have to reboot it to get the mouse to work. Don't ask. No matter what Amiga you put it on, this mouse will not work until... You reboot it again. And why in the hell is this taking so long? Here's my mouse. We're going to go into screen mode. We are in fugly mode for testing purposes only. So this is in the Scan Plus AGA. We're in NTSC high res 16 color whatever. I'm plugging this. I'm not turning this off. I'm plugging this right in and crash. Look at that crap. What? Look at that. I'm just going to use yellow. So that's the component mode. RGB is effed. Let's see if I have a mouse or do I have to reboot it again? Okay. So that's what he probably showed me. Horizontal phase is like a Duke. I guarantee you it was on VG, it was on component only. So I should have, you know, don't have a mouse. But that's what it was. And it's still, the phase lock is like way out. Look at it. Well, that sucks. 
I'm just going to plug this in. This is the Amiga monitor uh, 23. It is not plugged into anything right now. Alright, so it's plugged in. I'm going to reboot so I have a mouse. So then I'm going to take this in and I'm going to plug it into the back. And uh, maybe I'm just going to snip this end off and let it hang. And I don't really care. I just want it to go in there. I don't know what the difference is. Sucks that I gotta break that. Well, that works. Alright, so we're just on component video. Have a mouse. You can see it on both screens, the Dell in here. Now, I'm gonna plug this, I'm gonna flip this to the. That's well, black and white color. RGB. I'm gonna turn the monitor off for a second. Plug this in. And turn it back on. bullshit. The V-hold is through the freaking roof. It won't sink. Reboot, double finger. No, something's wrong. Because it's screwing up the Amiga. It's just booting. And Guru. So I can't even get a lock on RGB. So, the person I uh, bought the monitor from had a cable. And I didn't want it because I have a cable. So I just sent them a message and asked if they tested it with the cable or the RGB. I want to take this apart just to triple verify the RGB uh, and the sink and the grounds are the same because it works on every other Amiga. It's a 1084S different. It shouldn't be. But I'm going to triple check my cable just to be sure. I just went on the old interwebs.net.com slash diagram and uh, just to make sure I have the correct pinouts. It's just RGB, C-Sync, and a ground. And uh, yep, got that all sorted. Went on the old interwebs and took care of that. So without shielding it properly or anything, I'm just going to shove it in there and see what I get. You know what helps? The monitor. It would help to have the monitor here. I'm leaving the VGA hooked in. Why am I putting this on? Let's turn this on and blow up. Let's just see what we get. Double finger. Double mouse buttoning. But this mouse doesn't work, so I can't double mouse button. It looks a lot better. Mm. Let's see if the sink holds once she loads. VGA is still hooked up to the Dell on the Scan Plus. Doesn't that look better? Holy God. You know what? I've been using this cable, how I bought it, and uh, yeah, it looks okay. I'm going to interlace it. Uh, hang on, i got to reboot again to get my mouse working. Or I could use the other one that I thought wasn't working. This is a mouse 540. It works on the 600 sometimes the hole it's got like a big hole in it see that big hole sometimes I don't know what it is maybe from jiggling but that hole she just got really opened up uh. got a mouse very clear display I'm gonna overscan it I just want to see something whoops that's I'm gonna screen mode over uh, yeah you know what I mean let's lace it let's test it Get out of here, Mode Pro. Yep. She flickers on both. Woo, God. But I don't care. I have to have it. That's how I used to run 24-7. Flickery, but I could see. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. I don't know if the camera's going to do the 60 hertz. Don't know. But that's the 1084S with the proper built cable. And... I have a hunch. 
Now, my 2002 has been vertically challenged for a long time. I thought it was the potentiometer on these 10 ohm uh, roly bully balls. Oh, the 1084S has a green mode where I can go, oh! Forgot about that. Um, the 2002 monitor that's right down there, uh, well, sorta, had the same issue. Let me swap out to it and I want to see if it's clear again. Powering up this monitor. A little yellow. Let's turn it on. Double mouse. Will it work? I don't know. Let's let's just let's just reboot it. Oh, I fell out. Get in there. You good? Nah. What happened? Yeah, I know you you're a you're a picky uh SOB. But it's solid. Now you're going to see some flicker every once in a while because my camera has to sync to 60 hertz. But for a 30 year old monitor, that's a pretty good picture. And she'll brighten up. And the old contrast. Whoop. So we can put her in the middle here. Let's see. That's factory middle. Eh. I always brighten her up just a little bit because of the age. Now you calm down. But could be a my switch it could be anything but it's solid and it's working until I do something so this is NTSC now I'm gonna have to redo all this because I'm gonna put it on something else but get mode pro so yeah I gotta kind of eh, get... that seems about right now I can see it and that made that worse this is the scan plus AGA with the other men the fonting is just... nope. Crank up the brightness a little bit. What the hell are you doing now? You can see the refresh rate side by side. Scan plus AG on the left. But the vintage experience still looks good. Whether it's on the original monitor or not. So anyway, the 2002 monitor is better. So it's solid again in its ugly mode. And it works. I'm going to compare the 1084 in just a second with the Amiga 500 or 600. Right, here's the 600. I think this is still mode pro Now, I don't see this on the camera. I mean, I don't see this on the monitor. I'm looking at the viewfinder of the camera to see that. And that is really neat. And my head hurts when I touch it. I can't see anything. This flicker is just driving me nuts. Okay, my apologies. Now we're on get weird mode. Oh, new shell. Furia tune. This is a stupid video. We're going to put the 1084 back. 1084. Whew. 1084 is a clearer picture than my ancient 2002. And my apologies for the uh, out of phase. But, you know what? The 1084 works. We had a monitor cabling issue. I just cut the end off and made another one. Why not? I got to screw her back together using these old cheap plasticky connectors. What's funny is I uh, I bought a DKB Mega Chip from him and I was just at his house today to pick this up. And I bought it off eBay sitting on the toilet. Sorry. That's when I do my best shopping. So thanks for watching this useless video on uh, how not to run your Amigas and wonder what the hell's going on when your cable... Who knows what happened? It worked for years and then all of a sudden it just said no. Maybe it was a cold solder joint. Who knows? I just took all the wires off, checked them, put them all back on, and we're rocking. Thanks for watching.